Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know and today's video is going to be analyzing and breaking down the After We Collided teaser trailer that came out last week. If you guys have not already seen my reaction, my initial reaction to the teaser, I will have that linked down below but I've gotten a lot of great feedback on that video. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it and so a lot of you guys seemed interested in seeing kind of a more in-depth review of the teaser, kind of breaking it down scene by scene and giving my thoughts and my input and stuff like that. I did this for all of the after trailers last year so I figured this would be kind of a fun thing to do. So I'm just going to go through and watch the trailer scene by scene and let you guys know what I think. Obviously everybody is going to have differing opinions. I was very happy with how respectful and nice you guys were all being for the most part in the comments of my last video and I want to really keep that alive in this video too. You can love it, you can hate it, whatever you feel about the teaser that's totally fine and I respect you but but just be respectful towards everybody else in exchange and kind of have like nice conversations. I don't want to see anybody being rude to each other because of their differing opinions and I hope you guys would grant me that respect as well. So, so with that being said, I'm going to start here and I'm just going to press play and I'll pause when I want to talk about it. So, let's see. Okay, so even just from my initial watch of the trailer, I noticed that a lot of the scenes are like word for word accurate from the book. And so this scene looks like when they're in Seattle and Tessa has Trevor in her room and Hardin knocks on the door and Tessa asks Trevor to hide in the bathroom because she doesn't want Hardin to know he's there. And that looks exactly like what's going on. So it feels pretty accurate to the story. Um, I'm pretty sure it's that scene. From the teaser, it's hard to assume things because we don't 100% know like they could be manipulating it to look a certain way for us until we actually go see the movie and we find out oh that's like not what's going on at all but from the looks of it it seems to be that scene in Seattle. I have noticed though that a lot of the teaser is kind of centered around the whole Seattle um, part so that's something to keep in mind as well but okay let's go to the next part. Harden, you have two options here. Either you fuck me or you leave. You decide for me. Okay, so just pausing <laughs> before the shower scene. Um, okay, so in my last video, I kind of brushed over the um, the scene of her in Seattle with Hardin when she says you either fuck me or leave, and I told you guys it was a little off-putting for me, and a lot of you guys were like, no, Lara, like this is a real scene in the book, like it's word for word in the book, and I know that it's word for word in the book. I've actually gone back and looked at it a bit, um, and I just kind of want to briefly share like why I feel like I wish they changed up the scene a little bit. Obviously, I respect everybody that loves the scene and just thinks it's fine. Um, but for me personally, the issue that I have with the scene, a lot of people think it has to do with the fact that Tessa begs Hardin to sleep with her and then in the morning she wakes up and tells him that she didn't know what she was doing. However, in her inner monologue, you see her say like, that was a lie, like I did want it. Um, that's not the issue I have with the scene. It more lies in the way that Hardin's reaction is shown in the book at least. Um, it kind of shows him saying like I knew what I was doing and I knew it was wrong but I did it anyway. Um, that's kind of the issue I have with it even if Tessa woke up and she thought it was perfectly fine. I just don't think it's like ideal to have a male character saying things like I knew what I was doing was wrong but I continue to do it anyway. Um, and I just have a problem with the fact that they're not dating in this part of the book. He's completely sober and she's clearly belligerently drunk. Um, and I just feel like they could have portrayed the scene in a way that was a little more like with the times. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have taken issue with the scene. Some people don't see an issue at all and that's completely fine too. I just feel like they could have made it a little bit more like of the times and maybe a little bit more consensual. Not that it's not like 100% consensual, but it just gets messy. Like the lines get really messy in this scene and I feel like they could have shown it in a way that was a little different from the book. I know you guys are probably like, well, if you think that the scene is so bad, why do you like the book? Like, I don't think you have to agree with 100% every aspect of anything to like it. And so this is just one of the scenes that I've always had a little bit of issues with. So that's just my personal opinion, obviously. I know some people are gonna agree with me, some people aren't, but you guys know I keep it real and I'm honest 100% of the time, even when I don't like things, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not just gonna sit here and act like everything is perfect in my opinion, so that's what you're gonna get from me, but that's how I feel about that scene. Enough of that, let's move on. Okay, so the shower scene. 
I didn't know that this was actually a real scene in the book. As I've told you in the last video, it's been like a year or two since I've read After We Collided, but somebody did send me screenshots of the shower scene, um, which I like totally didn't realize was a thing. Um, so yeah, it looks like that scene is pretty accurate to the book as well, which is like kind of cool. I like that they're making it more realistic to Hessa and like including real scenes. I feel like last movie we got like a little tease of like what real scenes could be like. Like we had a bonfire scene, we had like the Pride and Prejudice scene, but they weren't like accurate. So I'm excited to see more accuracy in regards to some of the other scenes in the book. It hurt me and I can't forgive you. So last night meant nothing. I didn't know what I was doing from kissing that guy. Guys, that scene looks so good. I can really tell that the acting has improved <laughs> since the first movie. Um, Hero looks like really accurate to Harden. His yelling, the anger, like it's very Harden in my opinion. Um, however, Josephine really steals the stage in this scene. Her delivery of that line, which is a direct quote from the book, is just so good. Like you can really tell that there's some improvement there. I thought she was wonderful in the first movie, but you can tell that there has definitely been some improvement. And I think that the characters have just developed so much more in this film. And we're going to see a lot more accuracy when it comes to even just the portrayal of the characters. Scenes aside, the characters just feel so much more real. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I definitely think they're just really coming to life in this movie. <sighs> That little part where somebody says what happened between you two, I think is Trish, Harden's mom. Um, if we have the part where Tessa goes back to the apartment for Christmas, even though they're broken up because of the bet, um, and Trish asks what's going on and she tells her that he lied to her and she was like, was it a big lie? Like, you can forgive him, whatever. That's the scene I'm gonna assume. Also, the bathtub right here. I don't know specifically what scene this is, but that's obviously the bathtub from the first movie. So we can assume that this is just like her wallowing away in the bathtub after the bed or something like that oh yeah so she said he lied to me a massive lie that's what she replied to trish um i don't think i heard that before but that's good to know okay that was a lot right there so it's her telling Hardin, i'm never gonna leave you but then we see some other little scenes in there like her kissing Harden again, them laying in the bed together. The one that was like crazy to me is that we see her kind of leaning in to kiss Trevor. I asked you guys in the last video if anybody remembered if she kissed Trevor or not in the second book, and a lot of you guys told me she didn't. I think what's going on there is since they decided to lessen Zed's role very significantly, considering he's like a very big character in the series, um, they've lessened his role and they've decided to have Trevor as kind of the front runner in a love triangle type of situation, is what I'm assuming, and I think has been kind of confirmed so I think Trevor is going to be kind of that third person even though we do see Trevor have his fair share of like love triangle-ness we never really think he has a chance like he just kind of is like going after Tessa when she clearly wants Harden so I don't know how they're going to be exploring that in this movie but I'm very excited about that obviously I did love Sam as Zed however they just didn't develop Zed's character at all in the first movie it would kind of make no sense to make him be the one in the love triangle moving forward so I understand why they did it completely and also I'm very partial to Dylan Sprouse and I'm so excited to see him as Trevor so if he has screen time I'll be very happy about that so that is my kind of more in-depth review and analysis of the trailer if there was anything else that I didn't catch let me know in a comment down below and just how you feel about the teaser are you excited does it make you feel nervous I'm nervous but like definitely excited I feel like this movie is actually going to like really come out as something we don't expect I feel like this teaser has so much potential and I'm very excited to see like a full-length trailer when that comes out because this kind of just focused on like one scene I would love to kind of see a more Timeline approach to a trailer where it kind of shows a little bit of everything that would be really satisfying to me So I hope we get one of those soon and hopefully a release date as well since we are approaching the release date Even though we don't know what it is Hopefully more stuff will be coming out and I'll be able to do more videos like this talking about the movie If you guys enjoy them make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more more content from me but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video I hope you liked it if you want to connect more with me you should follow me on my social medias on Instagram and Twitter I'm lovely like Laura follow me on there other than that I will see you guys very very soon in my next video and I love you all bye